So where are you from, dude? Uh, I'm from New Jersey, North Jersey, uh, Morris County, uh, Rockaway, town's called. Um, you know, my family is from New York City, as well as, you know, the Patterson, New Jersey area. So, uh, you know, I kind of grew up um, hearing stories, uh, mob stories um, on both sides of the spectrum. You know, my Italian father um, always talks about the uh, local tales of the mob from around here, as well as, uh, you know, my grandfather's from Harlem. So I hear a lot of stories from Harlem, um, which is another legendary gangster place I'm sure you've heard of. Um, so, you know, that kind of, those, you know, uh, aspects put together kind of made me just fascinated in all of it, anything underworld related, really. What's your favorite all-time gangster movie? Mm, favorite all-time gangster movie? There's so many. I mean, I kind of feel like, you know, the ones that you mentioned, uh, The Godfather as well, kind of go without saying. Um, for some reason, my favorite is Carlito's Way. Okay. Um, I'm not really exactly sure why, just because it's not exactly the mainstream one, like, you know, like Godfather, Scarface. It's not like those movies that you always hear about. Um, that's everybody's favorite. Um, yeah, I just and also I'm I forgot to mention that my my family is half or I'm half Puerto Rican, um, and there wasn't really not too many stories about uh, pins really. So um, and of course Al Pacino is a legend. <laughs> so yep. yeah, it was uh, I guess Casino is probably my all. I know this these are the go to ones, but forgive me, man. But Casino is my probably my all time favorite. Goodfellas is right up there. Um, I think those are probably my two favorite, you know, when it comes to the Italian mob uh, gangster movies. Um, I just watched for the first time ever, and people are like, what the hell, you just watched this for the first time? I just watched for the first time ever uh, Donnie Brasco, and I really like that one. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I was actually going to bring that up, too. That's actually definitely up there for me. Um, and like you said, Goodfellas Casino, I kind of just feel like those go without saying. So, you know, those are... Uh, class and I, I hear you man i love those too yeah. I, but i'll i can appreciate anything really you know i don't know if you ever heard of um joe pesci's first b movie it's called the death collector okay. and it's <laughs> it's kind of corny you know now it, it's a b movie um but i i love it so that's you know kind of where i'm coming from i can appreciate anything um related to that any kind of filmography you know I want to talk about some of the stuff you cover on your channel, but before we do, speaking of movies, I'm just curious, you know, because you know a lot about this, um, what is, or who is a mobster or a gangster or whatever the case is that they should do a next movie on in Hollywood? Mm, I would probably say Frank Matthews. So actually, I'm, I'm, st I'm staying away from the Italian uh, side. Do you want me to? Uh, specifically mafia related whatever or? no no mobster anything in mobster gangster anything you know uh, Frank you know yeah I, I would say Frank Matthews okay talk to me about uh, Frank Matthews and who he is uh, Frank Matthews basically organized the black drug trade in the early 70s um, you know like many other New York City drug kingpins um, started in the south um, I believe North Carolina to be exact he uh, came up north um, you know, Black and Caesar. in Brooklyn, Black Caesar, exactly. Yep. Okay, keep yep. going. Yep, yep. And he, you know, came up from North Carolina to Brooklyn and New York City. Um, you know, kind of saw that the mafia, you know, was kind of controlling the black neighborhoods from a crime standpoint and making a lot of money uh, off of them from you know uh, the numbers racket, uh, protection rackets, uh, and specifically more specifically in frank matthews case drugs um and heroin even to be even more specific um he saw that you know the mafia was controlling these things especially the drug trade up to this point so he kind of was a pioneering uh gangster who kind of you know took the took over the drug trade from the mafia i'm uh, not completely but you know he this is kind of what they say. The story goes on um, in the early seventies. There were two um, meetings that he hosted in Atlanta uh, where he, 
got pretty much all the top black drug dealers in the country to together, you know, and said, hey, listen, like this drug trade thing, we can make a lot of money if we work together here. And we got to, you know, kind of, you know, take this from the Italians, you know, they're making money off of our neighborhoods. And this is this is an opportunity that's being taken, you know, right under right from under our noses. Um, so that's really what Frank Matthews did. Um, that's pretty much very it's really significant. You can kind of say, um, kind of like a luck, a black lucky Luciano in a way, or you said black Caesar. Um, and eventually, uh, you know, by like 72, I believe, uh, he, his case was really hot. Uh, and long story short, um, he pretty much ducked court, um, never to be seen again. Um, so that's really, yeah. Uh, to this day, he, no one knows where he is or, he pretty much um, there's been you know rumors that he's he, he might have been killed by the mob or by another you know underworld rival um, there I've, I've heard I've heard uh, rumors that he might be alive in Chicago but I, I, this is just you know stuff I've read on the internet I don't know I'm not really I don't know anything personally but uh yeah he, he's pretty much the only gangster to really get out you know, make it out per se and, you know, never, you know, never really get caught by the law. Um, they say he took like 11 mil or a few million dollars, few million dollars with him, disappeared with his girlfriend. Um, some say he might've been in the Caribbean. Uh, I, I believe there was like si- reports of his sightings all over the world. Um, but yeah, he, there, there, there could be a whole movie written about, or you know, made about Frank Matthews. You know, I I feel like there has to be a, a script, you know, out there or something, right? Like, oh, there has to be. Yeah, no, there's definitely got to be. I know there's been documentaries. I'm you know, I'm not sure if you've seen the Al Prophet documentary. Oh, yeah. That was a good one. Oh, okay, um, okay. Yeah, and then there's the Black Caesar book by Ron Chepeswick that tells his um, life story very well and in depth. Frank had more money than the mob. Matthews was the number one. He would have ruled the United States. Frank Matthews was a much larger drug dealer than Frank Lucas. He's literally fallen off the face of the earth. In the 1970s, uh, we had a heroin problem in the country, and definitely in New York City. A river of money is flowing because business is so good. It was a gangster town. You know, nobody wanted to go to New York City. The word evolved here, he took over. He was a guy that had great leadership skills and knew how to control a product, make distribution all along the East Coast, and control an organization through violence and intimidation. A state senator from uh, Baltimore, and Frank had him killed. 